Eisen's White House announced they have reached a two-year budget agreement. In a tweet Monday night, President Trump called the deal, quote, a real compromise and said it has no poison pills. The budget increases spending by $320 billion over the next two years and suspends the debt ceiling during that time. U.S. debt currently sits at about $22 trillion. Maya McGinnis joins us now from Washington. She is the president of the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget. Uh, Maya, so what more do we know about the details of this deal and where the money will be going? Okay, so the way that this deal has been crafted is that two important policies have been kind of pushed together. The first one is we had to lift the debt ceiling. If we didn't, it would have actually led to a default, which is kind of an unprecedented, dangerous, dangerous thing in this country. And so we never want to be doing that. You need to lift the debt ceiling. At the same time, we had spending caps in place that were lower than either party really wanted on both defense and domestic discretionary spending. And they decided to go ahead and increase those caps for two years and tie that to the debt ceiling increase. So that's the main, the main parameters of the deal. What's missing from the deal was a plan to pay for it. So ironically enough, we're actually lifting the debt ceiling at the same time that we will make the debt much, much worse.